What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Picker, host of the Paul Picker Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Um, of course, I got to react to this Jason Aldean um, music video getting pulled off of country music television, as I am a musician and I'm a podcaster as well. And I could have sworn that um, Luke Campbell already, you know, fought the Supreme Court um, and won against this shit. But apparently they're trying to bring it back. Before we do, I want to give you a quick word. From Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur. That lit, that, lit, that slap, that slap. It is that one, that egg. Egg bite talking about Dizzle new drink. They like, that's that turn, that, turn. that, lit, that lit, that slap. That slap. It is that one, that egg. Egg bite talking about Dizzle new drink. They like, they like, you can Dizzle too. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with Gabby tequila cognac and orange liquor mango mix just throw your dizzle on ice and it's nice if you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of dizzle premium luxury liqueur go to dizzlebrand.com click on our locations click on one of the top three website links i recommend emilio's beverage you must be 21 and over shipping and handling is included below that's locations in california oklahoma kansas and arkansas where you can buy dizzle in store also the dizzle brand merch is on dizzlebrand.com hats t-shirts and much much more and don't forget the dizzle brand gummies just officially launched on the 15th go to dizzlenova.com the link is in the description as well i'm gonna play two videos regarding this um and i'm gonna give my reaction to both talk about the racist dog whistles in Jason Aldean's new song or no? Because this got me fired up. When I tell you there was a visceral response to hearing this song for the first time today, I mean that. After listening to this song one time, the references that I heard were nods to sundown towns and lynch mobs. And actually this song is a great example of how you don't have to mention race at all for something to very obviously be about race. So the song is called Try That in a Small Town. And if you're with me, you already know where this is going. So right out of the gate in the first verse, he's talking about very stereotypical crimes that you you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Like carjackings and robbing liquor stores. Who talks about those crimes? Sounds like he got his inspiration for this song from Fox. Wow, who talks about those crimes? Who talks about those crimes? Ah, let's think. Let's think. How about every fucking rapper on the fucking planet right now? How, how about every single motherfucking rap act on the planet? Every single motherfucking rapper talks about that shit. That's who talks about it. Um, but let's keep it moving. Snooze. And then he goes on to say, cuss out a cop spit in his face stomp on the flag and light it up yeah you think you're tough who could he be talking about there because i guarantee you it's not the people from the capitol so oh wait wait oh because because there's no white people who do that right there's no apparently there's no white people that do that that burn flags stomp on the flag say fuck the police and spit at police well, I've never seen video footage of white people doing that. Okay, let's keep it moving. Then we get to the chorus, and this is where shit just gets wild. So he says, well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Round here, we take care of our own. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't try that in a small town. Tell me that okay. that is not a reference to sundown town behavior. You cannot convince me otherwise. Well, folks, let's talk about old Jason Aldean and his oh new song, Try That in a Small Town. First of all, it's full of BS. You know, I mean, it's the rarest unicorn in the world of somebody actually burning a flag or some stupidity like that. But, but he tries to act like... Okay. People don't burn... We, wow, we didn't just see like a whole year of people burning flags. Uh, 
this guy is all cap. It, it straight lies. It's a rarity that we see people burning flag. Bullshit, horseshit. Let's keep it moving. Like uh, small town people are just tough. They don't put up with that nonsense, and that's a bunch of BS. So we kind of have some like good news updates from this situation. CMT pulled the video and won't show Jason Aldean's video for Try That in a Small Town. It's also extremely worth noting that the site where Jason chose to shoot this video is the site of a lynching of a black man in the 1920s. And I have seen enough from Jason, who also did blackface for Halloween, and his insurrectionist Barbie mistress wife to know that this was not a coincidence. Like, he can put out this fake-ass apology that I'm barely going to give any credence to. Because he and his mistress's actions have shown who they really are and what exactly this song is supposed to mean. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It seems like the woke revolutionaries have won yet again because corporate America has decided to capitulate to these soft snowflakes who decided to bitch and complain about a song by Jason Aldean that basically says, look, if you are a BLM protester or an Antifa protester, basically if you are an agent of chaos and you try to pull up to a small town, okay, with all of that chaos, you know, violence, destroying businesses, vandalizing, looting, killing, thieving, if you try to pull up to a small town, like you did in one of these big liberal cities doing the BLM slash and Tifa protests of 2020 or riots of 2020, um, it's probably not going to end well for you, right? You, you're probably not going to be, be able to get away with that in a small town, okay? And that is extremely true, right? It is a true statement. And he made a song about it, right? He made Yeah, because what people fail to realize in a small town is almost... Everything is private property in small towns. Almost everything is private property. So if you think you can go on private property and burn it down and do whatever you want, like in places like that, they can shoot you and get away with it because you're on private property. It's not like the city. Nobody, like that's the thing. Like, you know, there's, there's some people that got private property in the city, but most part when you're in big cities, Everything is being rented. Most people, you know, don't own a house inside the city. Let's keep it moving. I made a song about it. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, the woke revolutionaries started boohoo, whining, and crying, and talking about racism. Oh my God, this song is so racist. It's a dog whistle for the white supremacists to lynch black people. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> You can't make this up, back. right? You really can't, okay? So what did CMT do, okay? Country Music Television, I believe that's <laughs> what CMT stands for. They decided to pull the song. They decided to remove the song uh, because apparently, again, it's racist and it's violent and, you know, X, Y, and Z. Now, again, the hypocrisy here is just amazing, especially from the entertainment industry that constantly promotes violence and songs with lyrics that quite literally explicitly tell people to kill each other mostly black folks right again telling black people to kill each other and threatening each other and gang banging and doing all types of stuff and music videos talking about the booty holes that's totally fine right totally okay and he's right on this and i agree with him a thousand percent and i just said that and guess what i rap i'm a hip-hop artist you know but as i said i'm a hip-hop artist you know, hip hop always had a balance. You know, yes, you had gangster rappers, and I love I love gangster rappers. Yes, you you know, Mob Deep is like my favorite album of all time. But I don't just because I listen to Mob Deep, you know, doesn't mean I want to go out and shoot and rob people or do anything Mob Deep said in their music or whatnot. But I just, you know, because I don't take all music literal. You know what I'm saying? Music isn't always the, it's not supposed to be taken literally, but hip hop does that, you know, but rap, yeah, rap today, excuse me, rap culture today is the, it's the most negative genre. It's the worst sounding genre today. It's not like 90s hip hop, you know. You had Midwest sounds, you had down south sounds, you had up north sounds, you had west coast sounds. 
you had Texas sounds, you know, the chop the screw and all that. Now it's just all sounds the same. It's all repetitive. Um, they all rapping about the same bullshit over and over again. They talking about killing, uh, doing drugs, selling drugs, and fucking bitches. That's all they talk about. Those same four or five things over and over again. Unless it's Kendrick and J. Cole, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's really hypocritical. And I watched a video. I watched a video. I listened to the song. I'm not seeing it, man. I'm not seeing what they saying, man. 100% fair game. Hit. Nothing violent about that. Nothing that we should take down and say, hey, you know what? Maybe we should have people listening to stuff, especially kids, right? Children being the main audience. Uh, no, right? They have no issue with that as our cities uh, basically get destroyed by teenagers who are influenced by these rap songs in which, again, they're hearing these lyrics uh, that are encouraging violence. Again, the, the double standards that we have in society is just truly amazing. And Woke Corp America, yep. uh, in my opinion, is as guilty as anybody in regards to the capitulation because they simply don't have to do it, right? But yet they choose to do it, and they're showing you whose team they're on, right? Whose side they're on. Again, I've never heard of a rap music video being pulled because, you know, it's too violent, right? They, they talk about killing and stealing and robbing each other, right? But again, make a song about... The only video I've seen that happen to, um, and kind of recent, and YouTube and everybody pulled the music video, was a Joyner Lucas video, which is one of my favorite rappers, of course. Jo they pulled a Joyner Lucas video because he was rapping in front of kids, and he was saying some crazy stuff. But um, for the most part, he's right. Like, and that's the thing. Like, Joyner Lucas is not a negative rapper anyways. Anybody who knows Joyner Lucas knows he's not a negative rapper. He's not trying to paint um, negative, um, like, images in his music. He's not trying to tell kids to do, you know, go do negative things and go commit crimes. Joyner with Lucas would never do that, but all these other rappers, they let their music go through and whatnot. But I'm the thing is, is as a musician, as a podcaster, as a person who likes to speak my mind on social media, I would never be on the side of censorship. Let's keep it moving. About defending a small town, okay, from criminals, and apparently you are. Again, you're inciting a lynch mob, right? So he's saying, look, if you try that in our town, in a small town, uh, we're not going to let you get away with it. We're not just going to let you destroy our communities. Apparently, apparently. Yeah, like he basically saying, you go try to rob some old lady at gunpoint in a small town. Everybody knows everybody. They're not just going to sit there and, and let you get away with it. In a big city like New York, people just let people rob people at gunpoint. And watch it happen. Let watching people get beat up and and all types of stuff. Just letting it happen. Just keep it moving. Um, oh well, you know. And that's what he's saying. Everybody knows everybody in a small town. You're not just gonna come in there and just rob some old lady and think somebody's gonna sit back and and do nothing. You know, they're gonna um, defend their own. And everybody in a small town got guns. That is a problem, right? So let's read about it. Country music star Jason Aldean defended the lyrics and music video for, quote, Try That in a Small Town, as the song was removed from CMT's rotation. CMT confirmed to media outlets that they've stopped airing the video, though they haven't given a reason why, and it's currently unclear how many times they showed it since it was released on YouTube four days ago. The lyrics convey that close-knit small-town communities uh, won't kindly take to riots, violence, and criminal uh, misbehavior seen in America's cities. Yeah, so I want you guys to understand, right? I want you guys to understand what's going on here, right? Um, Country music television is basically pulling down a song that country music uh, listeners, you know, listen to, right? They love because of people who don't listen to country music right again that's what's happening here because that's the crowd that they're trying to 
appease, right? People who probably don't listen to country music, okay? And they're just mad because they were told that you need to be mad about it. So let's read a portion of the lyrics here. Uh, sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. Yeah, I think it's cool. Well, act a fool if you like. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. You cross that line. It won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't try that in a small town. Yeah, so again, you know what that sounds like? <sighs> sounds like every fucking rap song I've ever fucking heard in the last five to ten years. That's what it sounds like. It sounds, I mean... You know, I think some people just wake up every single day and look for racism in places it's not even at. They they grab their racist microscope, as I like to call it, and look for it in some places that it's not even at. You know, I, I mean, like, and when you watch the music video, I mean, it's like... There's more white people in the video. There's hardly even any black people in the video if there is. Like, all the video footage shows, like, crazy-ass, stupid-ass white people doing um, crazy-ass shit, you know? Doing their, with their, cra you know, all their crazy-ass antics that they do when they, they um, rioting and protesting. You know, getting in front, you know, blocking off traffic and cuss, you know, yelling at people's faces and spitting at people's faces, you know, just all the same shit. I'm trying to figure out what is the difference between these lyrics and the average rap lyrics that you hear, okay, in a rap song. Yeah, so let's compare some of these lyrics to, I don't know, the average rap song, right? Like, for example, NLE Chopper, Shot of Flow, right? <laughs> Let's actually read these lyrics and tell me which one do you think is worse here, right? Yeah, 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 I'm a menace. Keep me a rack just like tennis. I'm with the ish like I'm Dennis. I started this ish, I'm a fetish. N words be hating, trying to blemish my image. Who want the smoke? 223 came with the scope, extended clip, longs the rope. We wipe his nose, which means we kill people, right? We're killing, killing and robbing people. That's what we wipe his nose means. Just like uh, he had him a coal, I knew that boy was a hoe. Pull up with the gang, you know that we banging. So talking about gang banging, right? Talking about being in the gang. What is your set in word? What is you claiming? I'm a beast. You cannot tame it. Don't point the finger. That ish can get dangerous. These N words hating. These N words plotting. Oh, he got money. I'm running his wallet. AKA, I'm stealing from him, right? I'm stealing. You say you a killer. Little N words stop it in a shootout. Your gun was dropping. You really a fraud. You cannot stop on his yard. My N word, they scamming. They swiping them cards. I'm so high that I'm talking to stars. I'm going off the jiggers. I'm popping them bars. Yeah. Yeah, and he ain't popping no bars. It's like one of the wackest verses ever. But that whole verse was basically talking about just killing motherfuckers for no fucking reason. And the other songs is talking about defending themselves. Like if, you know, somebody brought all that rah rah to a small town and shit. Um, it's crazy. You know, and I'm gonna play a little bit more and then I'm gonna get into this next video. So again, in this little bit of lyrics, and this is not even a worst song. I, I chose a song I think is, you know, right, not even that bad compared to most of the stuff you listen to. Um, he is talking about killing folks, robbing folks, scamming people off their cars, right, being in gangs, doing drugs, but that's totally acceptable, right? You'll never see that get bad, okay? You'll never see it get bad. This, And you know what? I don't know that Greg Foreman is calling. He's not calling for it to be banned. What he's doing is he's trying to call out the hypocrisy of you'll ban this country music song, but you won't ban this, you know, violent rap music. It, it, it's like, it's just that he's calling out the hypocrisy, the double standard. 
And I don't think he would ever call for banning none of that rap music. I'm not calling for banning none of that rap music. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's trash, you know, it's trash, but I'm not calling to ban it. But let me get into this other video and I want to hear what he has to say too about it. It is massive and there is nobody happier than Bud Light right now because this story is about to get really, really ugly. Uh, and perhaps even bigger than Bud Light itself. What a lot of people don't know about country music is it has largely been co-opted by leftists and uh, um, like far lefty activist type musicians. I mean, just look what happened to what was that one band that renamed themselves uh, Lady Antebellum, but their name was offensive. So now they're just called Lady A. Uh, there's all sorts of, you know, the Dixie Chicks, I think, had some stuff going on, if I remember correctly. All these people, they get money, they get woke. Well, uh, extremely popular country music singer Jason Aldean has had his song pulled uh, from CMT TV and other outlets after uh, apparently the lyrics were too offensive. Uh, this is about to backfire so massively. Um, I, agree. They, I, they, I predict the I song agree. will easily be number one for a significant amount of time, and it, uh, mostly because, you know, and I'm not even a country music guy. You know what? He did this video maybe a day or two ago, this video right here. I meant to react to it yesterday. The song is already number one as we speak. Let's I, uh, I like folk music, but not really country. Um, and I prefer hip hop. And some some modern day rappers like Joyner Lucas, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, people of that nature. And uh, the lyrics are totally fine. And we're going to take a look at the lyrics. Everybody's calling racist and so on and so forth. By the way, this video is sponsored by Gold Co. I don't know if you knew all this, but Biden just canceled student debt. And that's going to cost us $1.7 trillion. That's you and me, $1.7 trillion. Biden's new budget also proposes $4.7 trillion in new taxes. The same budget could push our debt from $31 trillion to a whopping $51 trillion. Can you imagine what that's going to do to our economy and your quality of life and how that's going to affect your potential retirement planning? That's why it's critical you protect your savings with gold and silver before it's too late. I've partnered with the top-rated precious metal company, Gold Co., because they're a great company with an amazing reputation. Right now, they're giving, you up to, giving away up to $10,000 in free silver while supplies last. Plus, all qualified callers this week receive a free Ronald Reagan silver coin. You can learn more at QuarteringGold.com. We've had a disastrous economic policy run, never-ending war, skyrocketing inflation, bank failures, and now we've got new tax hikes to worry about. Visit QuarteringGold.com to learn more how to protect your life savings. Tell them the quartering sent you, and you can get a free, you could get a free Ronald Reagan silver coin. Plus, you can also protect your retirement and, uh, you know, it says Biden just keeps printing money. It's a good idea to check out, see what they have to say. Ben Shapiro tweets, if you think these lyrics are racist, you are racist. You apparently think these crimes are exclusively black or some such nonsense. So here. And, and that's what I was saying. Like, when you watch the music videos, it's, it's all it's a bunch of crazy ass white people doing stupid shit. Um, this idea that, you know, it's not a lot. It, I would argue there's probably more white people out here burning the flags than black people. Um, carjackings aren't exclusive to just black people. Robbing people at gunpoint aren't exclusive to just black people. Um, a lot, there's a lot of these riots and stuff. There's definitely a lot of white people at least protesting rights. And, you know, that's the thing. A lot of these protests, they get violent when they turn into riots and then it's really no longer a protest. Here's the, the lyrics. Um, these are the Jason Aldean lyrics. Uh, liberals are saying are racist. Sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light. Pull on the owner of a liquor store. You think it's cool? Well, act a fool if you like. Yell at a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag, light it up. You think you're tough? Try that in a small town. And what a bar. I mean, I think he very well could be talking about Antifa, which is basically exclusively rich white kids. 
from the suburbs, right? Uh, so I'm not even sure. I mean, at no point do these lyrics mention anything, anything of, about race. Yeah, and it's like that kid that got killed, that got, that white kid that was out there faking robbing people. He got shot and killed, you know what I'm saying? Like, by a black dude. That's dumbass should have. He come out there with a damn butcher knife on some random black guy. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? You know, and just like the you had the white guy in Starbucks that um, was harassing the black dude for wearing a Trump hat. No, like, yeah, like, what's racist is just assuming that these crimes are exclusively, you know, um, done by black people and black people only. That's what's racist. Ben Shapiro is a thousand percent correct. You know, it's like when people say um, the ID thing, the voter ID, like, they, they make it seem like black people aren't smart enough to get IDs when everybody on the planet that's 18 and older that wants to get a job has to get an ID. That's it, it. What are we talking about here? It's like just inferring that, um, you know, these crimes are exclusively done by black people is what's racist. And that's what they're trying to say that they are. And I mean, yeah, I've seen plenty instances of dumb white people doing all this shit right here. Nothing. Now, this is very common for the left. Uh, they are extremely racist. They look at those lyrics and think, oh, well, obviously you're talking about black people. Why do they think that? I didn't think racist. that. I thought he was talking about the super soldiers. Country music television pulls Jason Aldean's controversial. Try that in a small town. Well, look, not every small town is thriving, but I can tell you as somebody who has gone from a smallish town of like 10,000 to progressively smaller towns with a short stop off in Louisville for about six months in the middle. You know, big towns can have small communities within them that are tight knit. That's true. And not all small towns are, are like this, but there is a small town mentality. You live across the street from the guy you buy your uh, tools from at the, at the hardware store. You, your neighbors with the, the lady whose kid begs your groceries at the local grocery store. You buy your stuff, you buy your bird feed and your tractor supply from, from the same guy you know, who lives up the road, who also helps you on the, who goes fishing with you on the weekends. This is small town mentality. That's Yeah, you know, I like what he's touching on here because all, all this video and the song is saying, that it ain't... Small town mentality ain't like a big city. Like I said, in a big city, people will just watch people get robbed and do nothing about it. Won't call the police, won't help them, nothing. No, they'll, they'll watch people get beat up, won't help them. Watch people get assaulted, won't help them. In a small town, man, when everybody knows everybody and you're a stranger, you know, going and starting shit in a small town, yeah, they're going to have each other's back. They're going to stick up for each other. Everybody knows everybody. It, it's not just going to sit there and watch somebody rob somebody at gunpoint and not do nothing. You know, they're going to chip in a lot more than cities, unless they're straight cowards, you know. But, yeah, that big city mentality, people just, they – Nobody want to snitch on nobody. People just allow people to do crimes to each other. Break, sit there, watch somebody break in your neighbor's house. Watch somebody rob your neighbor at gunpoint. Won't do nothing about it. Small towns, nah, man. Everybody knows everybody, and it's a small town. Like people doing dirt with that live in the town, doing do, dirt to another person in a small town. That's not even smart because. Small town, man. Everybody knows everybody. You are gonna run into some, run into them sometime. I live in Fayetteville, North Carolina, where two hundred thousand people. There's people I went to high school with. I haven't seen ever again that lives in the same town as me or same city as me. Ain't seen them ever since. Cause we're not ever gonna go to all the same places, be on the same exact side of town, cause it's a bigger town. But small towns, 
there's only one grocery store. Everybody go to the same grocery store. Everybody goes to the same barbershop. Everybody goes to the same, you know, place to get their oil changed. Same church. Same this, same that, you know. Everybody knows everybody. And I've, I've heard enough, man. It, these people shoot for racism are just, they're overshooting. And, yeah, I'm with Ben Shapiro. What's racist is, you know, insinuating that those crimes are only exclusive to black people. Like black, only black people rob people at gunpoint. Okay. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. Um, once again, I'm thank you for tuning in. Paul Pickett podcast and I'm out. <laughs>